Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me, as you do. All right, so how do I get my project to work with Dolby Surround Sound? So this is a, a common question I get asked, so I'm going to show you how it is done. So as you can see in my clip, if I go into the sound mixer, I have stereo. That means I only have this option here, but I want to work in Surround Sound. All right, let's do that. So what we need to do, we need to set up our project properties to match the clip that we're working with or whatever it is that we're trying to do. Now in version 8, this is pretty cool, uh, you most likely have the thumbnail view, but in version 8 you have the list view. And the list view gives you all the information you require about your clip. So when you set up your project properties, you can just look along here and then match it accordingly. So let's go into settings and then project properties. All right, so we also want to work with surround sound. So the only option that allows surround sound is this one here, the advanced video codec high definition. And I'm going to check that. And I'm going to look through the presets to see if there's anything that I can use. So as you can see, my audio isn't going to... Uh, well, here you go, digital, uh, digital Dolby. But it's not exactly what I want. I want, to, I want to create my very own. So let's go completely off the bat. So let's go new and then go test. So let's go to general and see what we've got. So my frame rate is 29.97. So that matches. And if it didn't match, all I had to do was scroll down and find the one that it matched. And then my frame size. And this is obviously not my frame size. Mine is 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to change that to 1920 by 1080. So there you go. Now I'm going to go to the compression tab. And I'm going to say, well, where do I live? So do I use PAL or NTSC? And I'm using NTSC, so that's OK. I'm going to leave the quality range at 70 and the video format. Now, most likely you would have this one here, MPEG-2. I've got a video codec of H.264, so that is the one that I'm going to select. Now, with the two-pass encode, um, what it basically does is if you do not check it, it does a one-pass, and it'll take the lowest bit rate and the highest bit rate, and then it'll render out on the average bit rate between the high and the low. With a two pass, it does the op it does the same thing in the first pass, but on the second pass, it will calculate for everything for the highest pass or the highest bit rate. You're going to get a much better quality, but the rendering time is going to be longer. All right, let's go into the audio settings now. For you, you may likely come across this. I believe that means linear pulse codec module modulation or something like that. But the word linear just tells you already it just it's one. It just goes left to right, does nothing else. So we want Dolby Surround, and then you have the audio two, uh, type 2 or 3. So we want type 3, which gives you front and back and center, right? So left and right, front and back. It gives you the five channels that you require. And that's it. We're done on this side. So we press OK, and then we press OK again because that's what we want. And it says, hey, you've changed your project settings. And you go, yes, that's the one I want to use. And now you can see up here, it uh, basically says 1920 by 1080. So that's perfect. So if I go back into my sound mixer, I now have surround sound. Isn't that cool? Now I'll quickly show you how you might want to use something like this. So I created, yes I did, I created my own little video clip or my audio clip just for you guys. Aren't I great? <laughs> So there's a, there, it's a little bit tricky, like, um, it's kind of weird. See how now it is blue highlighted, and I press play. I can go over here, but you see how it's basically, it says, no, you can't move it. This is kind of weird. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but you got to basically play with it a few times to allow you to do this. Now, as I do it, you'll see on my timeline, little... Uh, Right here, you'll see that I'm creating keyframes. So wherever I go and move this, it's keyframes. You probably hear it now too. Yeah, yeah you like my music? <laughs> All right, like I said, it's a little bit tricky because sometimes it doesn't turn on, and it's so long it's blue, and your hand or your cursor turns into a finger, then you can move it. So just. Sometimes you just need to click in the blank area and click back on it. I don't know what it is, but that's kind of frustrating. But there you go. That's how you may want to change the audio settings or the, the Dolby surround settings, I should say. So I hope I didn't completely lose you on this one. But as always, thanks for watching.